When we tune into an eagle cam, it's easy to get swept up in the romance of it all. Two majestic birds perch side by side on a wind-blown snag look like they're sharing secrets against the dawn. And for a human observer, it feels like watching soulmates in action. Big Bear's famous pair, Jackie and Shadow, have certainly been cast that way by their fans. But if you look at the science behind pair bonds, courtship rituals, and nest drama, the reality is more complicated and often even more interesting than the fairy tale. Bald eagles don't hit sexual maturity until they're five years old, so their early life is spent wandering and learning to hunt. When hormones finally kick in, they look for a mate that will help them defend a territory, raise chicks, and survive lean times. Finding that partner involves courtship flights that put our human dating rituals to shame. A pair will rise high above the treetops and then lock talons, tumbling hundreds of feet toward the ground in a cartwheel display. This dramatic free fall might look like a wrestling match, but biologists say it's a bonding exercise. The birds break apart just before impact. The University of Illinois Wildlife Medical Clinic notes that the cartwheel flight may also be a ritualized fight between males, but paired eagles typically mate for life with only a roughly 5% divorce rate. Another courtship routine called the roller coaster flight involves one bird soaring upward and diving repeatedly. These aerial acrobatics may help potential partners assess each other's fitness. They are followed by quieter bonding tasks like bringing sticks to a chosen tree. This nest building phase is like a home renovation show. Jackie and Shadow spend hours ferrying branches and softer materials. According to Journey North, bald eagle nests, the Aries, are the largest of any North American bird, sometimes 13 feet deep and over 8 feet wide. Both sexes gather sticks, but the female does most of the placement and will weave softer materials such as grass, moss, and seaweed into the cup where the eggs will rest. Nest maintenance begins months before egg laying, and established pairs add material year after year. The result can weigh more than a metric ton. Jackie and Shadow didn't build their Big Bear Airy from scratch. It predates them and has been repaired and expanded over several seasons. Their efforts each fall and early winter mirror what researchers have documented across the species. Nest construction not only prepares for chicks, it reinforces the pair bond. Bringing branches back to the tree is like a couple choosing furniture together. Watching the male labor over a heavy limb while the female maneuvers it into place tells us a lot about cooperation and communication. The myth of lifelong monogamy. Bald eagles are famous for their supposed devotion. Artists often portray a mated pair perched together for decades. That image contains some truth. The American Eagle Foundation notes that bald eagles typically mate for life but will accept a new partner if the original mate dies or is displaced by an intruding adult. Pairs also sometimes separate when one bird fails to reproduce or doesn't return from migration. The explanation is practical. Raising chicks requires two providers. If an eagle arrives at its territory and its mate has vanished, it can't afford to spend the entire season searching. It will attract a new companion and keep going. Scientists who monitor hundreds of nests say the divorce rate is much higher than people realize. Brian Watts, director of William & Mary's Center for Conservation Biology, told reporters that as eagle populations grow, their famous monogamy declines. The center's cameras documented faithful spouses and parents, but they also recorded eagles that cheat on their partners or avoid provisioning food. Watts estimates the divorce rate may be about 15%, noting that extra pair copulations occur for both males and females. He describes a typical scenario. A male leaves to fish and another male copulates with his mate at the nest. The returning partner unknowingly raises offspring that aren't genetically his. This shouldn't shock us. In many bird species, social monogamy and sexual fidelity are different things. According to Audubon writer Wayne Moans, monogamy is advantageous only when nesting and parenting demand extraordinary investment by both parents, and many birds that appear monogamous frequently engage in extra pair copulations. The pair bond helps coordinate breeding and childcare, but reproductive strategies remain flexible. When observers ask Jackie and Shadow to stay together forever, they're projecting human values. In truth, both birds are responding to pressures of territory and gene propagation. Their partnership has endured because both partners have remained healthy and none has been permanently displaced. As long as conditions remain favorable, the bond endures, if not. 
Courtship, mating, and the cloacal kiss. Once a pair bond is established, eagles cement it with repeated copulation. The American Eagle Foundation explains that mating involves a brief cloacal kiss in which the male stands on the female's back and the two press their cloacal openings together. This may last only seconds, but pairs mate frequently, partly to ensure fertilization and partly to reinforce the partnership. Females are fertile only a few days each season. Multiple matings increase the odds of success. Eagle fans watching Jackie and Shadow have seen them mate repeatedly on branches near the nest. After mating, they often preen each other or call softly, behaviors interpreted as bonding. Nest building as foreplay. Building and renovating the nest occupies much of an eagle's time outside of migration and hunting. Journey North notes that eagles start nest work one to three months before laying eggs. They favor tall trees near water with strong branches capable of supporting more than a thousand pounds. When stick collection begins, both male and female may be seen soaring with limbs dangling from their talons. Jackie is notorious for dragging leafy branches across the sky, often choosing ones longer than her wingspan. Shadow sometimes knocks smaller branches off trees to make them easier to carry. The nest skeleton is woven with large sticks. Cracks are filled with grasses, moss, cornstalks, and even seaweed. The pair forms a shallow bowl, a depression lined with down feathers and soft materials where eggs will sit. Eagles will reuse and enlarge the nest each year. It can double in size over a decade. The largest bald eagle nest on record, found in Florida, weighed nearly 6,000 pounds. Jackie and Shadow's nest isn't that heavy, but its sheer bulk is one reason fans worry when intruders land on it. A ton of sticks perched atop a pine tree is precarious. Additions must be balanced carefully. Defending the home front, intruders and fights. In a landscape rich with eagles, maintaining a territory requires constant vigilance. Nest intrusion is a big part of eagle drama. A 2023 blog post by the Raptor Resource Project notes that the Decora North eagles experience numerous intraspecific intrusions, other eagles landing near or in the nest when migratory birds flooded the valley. Intrusions may involve eagles seeking food, nesting materials, a mate, or a breeding territory. They can lead to disturbed incubation, egg failure, injury, or even death. Responses depend on the intruder's age, sex, and behavior. The same article explains that adult eagles pose greater threats than subadults, and resident males are more likely to chase male intruders during incubation and brooding periods. Females respond more strongly to female intruders. Having a mate present allows one partner to guard eggs while the other confronts the intruder. Aggressive responses range from alarm calls to aerial chases and physical fights. Sometimes intruders succeed. The American Eagle Foundation acknowledges that an adult intruder may battle a resident and take over the territory. If one partner dies, the survivor typically finds a new mate and stays in the same territory. Viewers have witnessed this on many cams. At the Decora North Nest in March 2025, a sub-adult eagle landed in the nest while the female sat on eggs. She mantled her wings over them and vocalized. When the intruder approached, she lunged and forced it back. Moments later, the male arrived and chased the intruder away. This quick, cooperative defense saved the clutch. High population densities increase these encounters. At the North Nest, repeated intrusions by adult female eagles in 2023 appear to have disrupted the breeding female's hormone levels and interfered with egg laying. More broadly, a study of Chesapeake Bay eagles found that as the population saturated, only 17% of birds of breeding age secured territories by 2013, leaving a large floater class that compete. As intensely, such competition can drive adult mortality and lower reproductive success. For Jackie and Shadow, defending against intruders has become a regular part of the breeding season. Juvenile eagles and ravens sometimes land on their nest to steal leftovers. Adult floaters occasionally perch nearby. The pair uses alarm calls, mantling and talon brandishing to deter them. When one bird is absent, the other tends to stay on or near the nest. Watching these defenses underscores why eagle couples remain together. A lone bird would struggle to incubate, hunt, and defend simultaneously. Mate changes and divorce. Mate changes aren't always triggered by death. As eagle densities increase, breeding pairs may split when intruding adults outcompete a resident or when partners choose new mates to improve reproductive success. 
The Center for Conservation Biology observed divorce rates of roughly 15%. In some cases, a resident male may leave to fish and return to find another male courting his partner. He might not be able to reassert himself. Females sometimes accept a new suitor who brings more food or defends more aggressively. Polyandry and cooperative breeding further complicate the picture. The Wildlife Medical Clinic article notes that some nests host trios, two males and a female or vice versa, who all contribute to incubation and feeding. The Fulton Trio in Illinois featuring two males, Valor I and Valor II and a female star, is a celebrated example. DNA testing shows that one male may sire the chicks while both help raise them. Trios may arise when a new bird intrudes, but the incumbent male isn't expelled. Instead, the birds cooperate, likely because high territory competition makes sharing a better strategy than risking injury. Jackie and Shadow have not accepted a third adult, but such arrangements highlight the flexibility of eagle social systems. Mate changes may also reflect simple practicality. If a nest fails repeatedly due to poor reproduction, one partner may seek a more successful mate. In other cases, injurious fights injure or kill a bird, forcing the survivor to ray pair. Cam viewers sometimes anthropomorphize these events and view new mates as homewreckers. It's important to remember that eagles don't operate under human social norms. Their decisions maximize their chances of passing on genes. If Jackie were to disappear and Shadow were still healthy, he would likely pair with an intruding female. Fans would grieve, but the behavior would be entirely normal. Vites within pairs. Occasional spats also occur within established pairs. These rarely involve serious injury, rather they are negotiations about nest duties. Observers have seen Jackie or Shadow vocalize sharply when the other fails to relieve them from incubation. At times they push each other aside to adjust a stick or take a turn brooding. Such interactions reflect the balancing act of cooperative breeding. A 2012 William & Mary article observed that some eagles behave like deadbeat dads, loafing rather than provisioning food. Females may respond by calling incessantly or leaving the nest to force the male to take over. In extreme cases, chronic inattentiveness could contribute to a mate change. How Jackie and Shadow illustrate these themes. Understanding the broader research helps us appreciate Jackie and Shadow's story. The pair has been together since early 2018 after Jackie's previous mate, Mr. B, vanished. Her decision to accept a new male fits the pattern she waited for weeks, then when Shadow arrived and proved himself, she bonded. Since then they have weathered fierce winter storms, nest collapses, and intrusions. They have also had years when eggs did not hatch. The underlying biology suggests that such failures aren't due to neglect or bad luck, but to complex factors like fertility windows and disturbances. Their courtship flights over Big Bear Lake echo the cartwheel rituals described by scientists. Their nest building follows the textbook description of Aries with sticks and soft materials. Their repeated copulation ensures fertilization, and their defense of the nest against intruders matches documented strategies in other populations. If we ever see them engage in polyandrous behavior or accept a new mate, we can interpret it in light of the research rather than as betrayal. The image of eagles as lifelong lovers holds a grain of truth. Bald eagles form long-term pair bonds that facilitate cooperative breeding, territory defense, and chick rearing. They engage in spectacular courtship flights and work together to build and maintain enormous nests yet they aren't bound by sentimental fidelity. High population densities, nest intrusions, and the practical demands of raising offspring can lead to mate changes, extra pair copulations, or even polyandrous arrangements. Intruders and nest drama are part of a dynamic ecological landscape. Eagles respond pragmatically to protect their territory and genes. So when why? Oh, watch Jackie and Shadow preen each other on a snowy branch, cherish the moment, but understand that their bond persists because it serves their survival. If circumstances change, so might their relationship. Far from diminishing their story, this knowledge enriches it. It shows that wild romance is messy, adaptive, and beautifully unscripted.